Hey guys, Jared here, Tone and Titan, coming at you today with a 25 minute cardio strength workout that you can do with just a pair of dumbbells. Now, I do have a heavier pair and a lighter pair of dumbbells, but if you just have one, that's totally fine. This is still going to be an awesome workout. This is a total body workout, meaning I've got exercises that are push exercises, pull exercises, and leg exercises. We're gonna rock our way through the whole thing. Hopefully you love this workout. Thanks so much for joining me today. Let's go ahead and get things started started with just a 60 second warm up. We're going to get the muscles warmed up, we're going to get the joints warmed up, and then we'll be ready to go. So I'm going to hit start on my timer, and we're going to do about 30 seconds of some, here we go, tall knee marches. So it looks just like this. Left knee comes up as the right hand goes up and overhead, and then we're going to alternate marching back and forth. The goal here, loosen up the hips, get a nice good stretch on the hips. Loosen up the shoulders as we reach those up and overhead. We've got some blood flow going. Just, just trying to warm up prior to going through this workout. About five seconds left, and then we're gonna get into some curtsy lunge rows. And so let's go ahead and do that now. So you're gonna drop into a curtsy lunge with a row, open the chest, open the shoulders, alternating side to side with the hips. We get a little rotation through the hips, a little lateral motion. Looks just like that. Nice good posture, looking up. Here we go, prior to jumping into this workout. Got about 10 seconds left, and then we'll jump into our first exercise. First exercise is gonna be laying down on the ground. We're gonna get into a dumbbell bench press. And so grab your dumbbells, lay down, and let's go to work. Laying flat on the ground, and here we go, up and over, and then right back down. Squeezing through the chest. So dumbbells are straight up to the ceiling, Looks just like that. Try to keep your elbows slightly lower than your shoulders. Try to keep your shoulder blades pinched down and back. That's gonna to help to open up the chest. That's gonna to help to lead with the pecs and not with the shoulders as we're going through this workout, as we're going through this exercise. Nice job, looks just like that. Squeezing the chest. So with the workout, we're gonna do 50-10 intervals meaning we're gonna have a 50 second work phase with a 10 second rest phase. So this is not a strict strength training workout. Nice job. 10 seconds of downtime, and then we'll get into our second 50 second interval. Goes quick. Here we go, any minute, here we go. Get ready, push. So this is not, like I said, pinch the shoulder blades. So shoulder blades are pinched together in the back, that will really help. So not a strict cardio workout, meaning, um, or excuse me, not strict strength workout. Uh, a lot of times with strength workouts, we'll do like three sets of eight to 10 to even 12 reps, reps to failure. Um, with a cardio workout or more of an endurance workout, we're looking at sets of 20 to 30 reps, which is what this is going to be. We're gonna keep the weight a little lower, but we're gonna keep the reps a little higher. And again, treat it more like a cardio workout. But we're gonna use some dumbbells, we're gonna get a little bit of some strength training while we do this. Looks good, you guys, just about there. Second set, again, we're gonna do two sets of each of these exercises. Nice job, jump up. You got 10 seconds, and then we're gonna get into some bent over rows. So, I'm gonna grab my dumbbells again, hinge at my hips, pull the dumbbells right back up into my chest. Looks just like this. And so we're pulling the dumbbells, it's kind of more into the rib cage. The important part is that I want you to get your elbows back behind you. So those elbows flare to the back as we pull the dumbbells. We're really trying to squeeze through the shoulder blades, squeeze those shoulder blades together, really maximize that pinch through there. Nice and strong through the core, hips are nice and strong, back is nice and flat. I don't want your back to be rounded forward, so hinge at your hips, keep your lower back straight, and then we're gonna pull with our upper back. Looks just like that. I shot 10 seconds left. Here we go. Nice job. We get a little 10 second break, and then we're gonna go again. I do have a heart rate monitor on. Right now I'm at about 118 beats per minute. Here we go, round two on these bent over rows, which is about where I wanna stay for the duration of this workout. This is gonna be more of a low intensity, steady state workout, more of a list style workout. Um, if you follow me, if you wanna go a little bit faster, you can absolutely speed it up from what I'm doing. 
and uh, get in a good hit style workout, a little bit higher intervals. Looks just like that. Exercise intensity is always gonna be measured off of your heart rate. My heart rate is gonna look different than your heart rate. It's gonna look different than anyone else's heart rate. So you might have to adjust your intensity according to your individual needs. And we can talk more about that as the workout goes on. Nice shot. Okay, 10 second break. And then we're gonna get into some squats. Some dumbbell squats. Those 10 seconds, they go fast. Here we go. Dumbbells come up. I'm gonna drop it like a squat. So it looks just like that. Nice job. So squats. My weight is on my heels. My knees are over my toes. I'm gonna sit down and do as much of a squat as I can and then drive right back up. Try to keep these in a pain-free range of motion, meaning if we're only bending the knees just slightly, totally fine with that. Go as low as you can, pain-free, especially if you have any pain or symptoms in your knees. You tell them a physical therapist, so it looks just like that. Back's nice and flat, so we're hinging at the hips. The back's nice and flat as we come up and down. Nice job, everybody. Looks good. Okay, there's our first 50 second interval. Now we got the heart rate going. We're at 148. Here we go. Second round. Whew. Nice shot. Just a low to moderate intensity cardio workout. Today's actually supposed to be a rest day for me, but I like to go through workouts like this on my rest day just to keep just to stay active. Again, I'm not doing aggressive strength training with this. More of a cardio style workout is all I'm going for. Nice job. Keep going. Excellent work. Very good. Okay, 10 second break. And then we're gonna get into our next push exercise. There we go, push, pull, legs. Militaries. So grab those dumbbells. We're gonna go up and then right back. Looks just like that. Now, the problem that I see on most military presses is people will flare their elbows straight out to the side. What I want you to do is actually keep your elbows forward just a little bit and then press from there. Just a much safer position for your shoulders to press from. Here we go, 10 seconds. Finish strong. Come on, man, you gotta, should be burning. I know I am. Only three exercises into this. Let's go, come on now. Nice shot. Okay, no shame in going down in weight. I'm gonna drop weights for this next one just so that I can finish the whole set. Here we go, so now, got the tens out, here we go. Nice shot. Form is always more important than the weight that you're pushing. And for this exercise, for this workout, I wanna be able to finish the set. I wanna be able to go the full 50 seconds rather than having to take breaks. Take breaks if you need to, but what I'm going to do is just drop weight so that I can hopefully finish. Oh, here we go, 20 seconds left. We got it, come on now. You're right here, you're with me. I'm struggling, you're struggling. Here we go, keep going. Nice shot. 10 seconds left, come on now. Nice shot. Okay, our next one, we're gonna do a dumbbell face pull. Face pulls are a little more rehabilitative. I'm gonna grab my lighter dumbbells. They kind of get your rotator cuff going a little bit more. Hinge at your hips, and then we're gonna make kind of a W motion with our arms. So the finished position looks like that, but I'm hinging forward, if that makes sense. What's the best thing I'm gonna show you guys? So it looks just like that as I hinge forward. You're gonna feel this one a lot more in your rotator cuff, 
the muscles on the back of your shoulder, but I also want you to try to pinch your shoulder blades together at the top of that rep. Nice job, you guys. Looks good. Five seconds left, here we go now, come on. Nice job. Okay, there's our first, first set of face pulls. Get into our second set. I'm a sweaty mess already, I hope you guys are too. Okay, let's go, three, two, one. Face pulls. rehabilitative exercises. We're working the shoulder blade, but we're also working the rotator cuff. You've got some shoulder pain going on. This should be a comfortable, well, not comfortable. This shouldn't cause pain, but you should definitely feel it in those rotator cuff muscles. Looks good, you guys. Good job. Three, two, one. Nice shot, everybody. Whew. Okay, push, pull. Let's get into some legs. We're gonna drop some reverse lunges. Here we go. Grab the dumbbells. We're gonna drop into a reverse lunge and then right back up. And then we're gonna alternate that onto the other leg. So it looks just like that. Alternating reverse lunges. Once again, I want you to drop as low as you can, pain-free in your knee. So even if we're taking a step back with a slight bend in your knee, and if that's all that it looks like, still better than nothing. If you can take it though, Drop down a little bit lower into that lunge. Looks just like that. Nice shot, you guys. Here we go, keep it up. 15 seconds. I know you're burning, I know I am. Here we go, keep going. Nice shot. Okay, there's our first round. And then we'll do another one. Nice shot, you guys, looking good. Hope you're sweating as much as I am. Jeez, holy cow. Let's go. Reverse lunges, second round. Nice shot. Alternating, just whatever pace you can. Whatever pace is comfortable for you. Here we go. You don't need to go through the same motion as, as deep or as much as I'm doing. You don't need to go the pace that I'm going. Just move, that's the important part. Do all you can, and then come back and try it again, and try a little harder next time. That's what it's all about, progress and improvement. Nice job, you guys. 10 seconds, here we go. Feeling that in the quads, feeling that in the glutes. Almost there. Three, two, one, nice job. I'm actually gonna turn the fan on. We got a fan going in here, there we go. Okay. Overhead triceps. Let's go. Right here, this is our next push exercise. We've got the dumbbells, we're dropping them back behind our head, and then we're pressing straight up and over our head. So it looks just like that. Now on these, the problem that I see is everybody will arch their back. You see what my back looks like right now. So you get those dumbbells back there. Keep your hips, hips tucked, keep your pelvis tucked, your back is nice and flat and your core is engaged while you're doing these overhead tricep presses. The other thing that I notice is sometimes people will flare their elbows way out to the side. Just not a natural position for your shoulder joint to be in. Try to keep your elbows in a little tighter to your ears as you're going up and down with the overhead triceps. Three, two, one, nice shot. Excellent work, you guys, here we go. Looks good. Here we go, second set. Overhead triceps, let's go. Whew. Nice job, you guys, looking good. I love that you're here with me today. I love that you're joining me on this. I love that you're trying to make these changes, that you're following this plan, that you're doing the thing. Here we go. Cardio strength workout. 
Nice job. 25 seconds, we're burning. Nice job. Okay, so that's an overhead push. So now we'll do another pull. So pull will be a biceps exercise. Let's get into some curls. So we're right here, dumbbell curl and down. So palms facing my hips at the top, palms are facing my shoulders, and then right back down. Nice and slow and in control. I don't want you to swing. I don't want it to look like this. I want that motion to come right from your biceps. That muscle right on the top part of your arm. Looks just like that. Nice shot, here we go. Let's see where my heart rate's at. 149, here we go. So a little higher than I'd like it to be, but you know what, I'm okay with that today. For a true list, for a true low intensity workout, my heart rate is actually 91 to 127. So as long as I'm above 91 and below 127, that's what my list workout range should be. So how you find that? You take a two of number 220. Here we go, three, two, one. Take the number 220 and subtract your age. So I'm 39. And so my maximum heart rate, or my age adjusted maximum heart rate is going to be 181. Theoretically, that's as high as my heart rate can get according to my age. Then what you're gonna do is multiply that number by 0.5. So again, I get about 91, and then you're gonna make, or multiply it by 0.7. So again, I get about 127. And that's how you find your age-adjusted heart rate range. And then from there, so 50 to 70%, that range that I just told you is gonna be like a low intensity exercise. 70 to 80, 90% be a moderate intensity exercise. And then 80 to 100, 90 to 100, would be a high intensity exercise range. So it's an easy way, you can get a really good feel for how hard you're working. Really cool. Curls, okay, so now let's get into some side lunges. What we're gonna do, grab the dumbbells. We're gonna go left, down as low as you can, can't, low as you can, and then right, down as low as you can, and then right back up, my dumbbells are going. So here we go, drop it left, drop it right, and then back to neutral. Here we go, left. Once again, we're going, as low as you can, pain free, looks just like that. A lot of times, a lot of our workouts, a lot of our leg workouts, a lot of our leg exercises are just in what we call the sagittal plane, meaning moving forward and back. Meaning our knees are right over our toes, which is great, which is exactly where our knees should be is right over our toes. However, in order to train, so our hips move in three dimensions. Our hips can go forward and back, they can go side to side, and they can rotate. In order to maximize our strength training, we need to test our hips. Here we go, second set. We need to test our hips. We need to do these exercises in those three different movement planes. And so side lunges are a great option to help you to be able to do that. Drop them down to the side, and then right back up. Filling that in the muscles on the outside of your hips, drop them down, and then on the inside of your hips as you pull right back up. Here we go. Ten seconds left, you guys. Here we go, finish strong. Do what you can do. I know you're getting tired. I know I certainly am, but we can do it together. Come on now. Three, two, one. Excellent work. Okay, for our side lunges. Okay, we've got three more exercises left, you guys. We got this. We can get down on our back again. We're gonna do some dumbbell flies. So lay down. So now the elbows are flared way out wide. We're gonna bring the dumbbells together up at the top. Pull the dumbbells apart wide as you can, and then squeeze together back up to the top again. So it looks just like that. Nice job. Once again, try to keep your shoulder blades 
pin down and back. So if you've got a bench or an aerobic step, you're gonna be able to do a little more of this exercise. Take your shoulders, take your pecs through a little bit bigger range of motion. But I wanted to show all these exercises without any equipment, with just the dumbbells, so that you could do them regardless of your circumstances. Hopefully, you know, if you have a little bit of space on the floor and a set of dumbbells, that's all you need to get through this whole workout. Looking good, you guys. Here we go. Uh, second set, dumbbell flies coming at us. Let's go. Here we go. We've got this, and we've got two more exercises, you guys. We can do it. Come on now. Finish strong. 25 minutes. It's not a lot of time, but we got in a ton of reps, and we moved a lot of weight. When you talk about how much the weight's moved and how much weight the actual resistance, the actual dumbbells are, it's a great little workout. Here we go. Keep going, finish strong. Filling that in the pegs. Let's go. Nice job, everybody. Good work. Okay, our next pole exercise, we're gonna do some rear flies. We did the chest flies, now we're gonna do the rear flies. Hinge at your hips, weights come out to the side, and then right back down. So the face poles we did earlier, we were finishing in this W position, now we're finishing basically in a T position. So as you hinge forward, come up into the T, and then right back down. I definitely have my lighter set of dumbbells for this one. Those muscles aren't very big, and they don't get worked very often. This is again, a lot of rear delt, a lot of rhomboids, a lot of rotator cuff stability exercises as we go up and down through that motion. <laughs> 10 seconds left, you guys. Here we go. Come on now. Finish strong. You can do it. Five seconds. Here we go. Come on. Two more reps. Last rep. Here we go. Come on. <sighs> nice shot. Drop them for 10 seconds. That 10 seconds goes fast, am I right? Like you put them down, you're like, oh, go to break. And then before you know it, we're right back. Here we go. Working out doesn't have to take long to be effective. You can get through them in as little as 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Looks just like that. My strength training workouts take a little longer because I'm taking a little more rest but my cardio workouts look more like this, where it's like, let's get in, let's do some work, and let's get it done. I nice shot you guys, looking good, here we go. Here we go, three, two, one. Nice job, everybody. Okay. Last exercise, here we go. We're gonna get in some deadlifts. Dumbbell deadlifts, here we go. Pick up both your dumbbells, heavier ones. I've got my heavier ones. Hinge forward at the hips, keep your back straight, and then use the glutes and the hamstrings to pull yourself back up. It's kind of a straight leg deadlift. Hinge at your hips. Use your, use your butt, squeeze your butt to pull yourself back up to upright. Looks just like that. Nice job. Here we go. Keep it up, you guys. Stay strong. We got this. We got one more set after this. This is a great exercise for those hips, for the lower back. Lower back stays nice and straight. Go as low as you can. Don't let your back round. Sometimes if you go too low, if I go like way down here, my back starts to round out. I don't want it to be in that position. I don't want to pull from a rounded back position. Let's keep your hips nice and straight. Hey, last set, here we go. Come on now, 50 seconds. What can you do for 50 seconds? It's not even a minute. Come on now, stay strong.
Okay, here we go, 20 seconds left. Now the thing that I love about these lower intensity workouts is that you can actually string them back to back. If I'm doing an, ag an aggressive strength training day, I'm only gonna do, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give the body part that I worked a day or two off between exercises. You don't necessarily need to do that with these lower intensity workouts. So if you enjoyed this one, and if you're interested in doing more workouts like this, I've got you covered right here on Tone and Titan. In fact, here are two of my favorites right here. Click on those, come back tomorrow, come back the next day, you're really gonna like these as well. If you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan yet, I'd love to see you back for more videos. Hit the circle right here to do it. Hope you enjoyed the workout. We'll see you again soon here on Tone and Titan.